Believe me, I will be the greatest testosterone producer that God ever created, and I mean that. Sorry! This is A-Game. Fast acting, long lasting, with no side effects. What's going on, world? DS1 Ross and we back here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Shout out to everybody who support the platform. Much love. And we back with another video. And in this video, I don't know if it's just me, but black male celebrities are dying, man. Like we're just dropping like flies. I don't know if it's just me, brothers, but are y'all realizing this? Do y'all realize that in the last two weeks, we just lost three Hollywood stars? We lost Fuquan Johnson first, rest in peace. Then we lost Michael K. Williams, rest in peace. And now I'm here to tell y'all that our brother A.J. Johnson passed away. Rest in peace to the comedian A.J. Johnson. 55-year-old black man, dead. Hollywood, Hollywood star. You know he played in I Got the Hookup. He played in Friday. He played in some great movies. This black man is dead. Now we know Fuquan and Michael K. Williams died from drugs. And also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but when a black celebrity dies, their rep gives them, gives the news, the word that they passed away. But for some reason, they mysteriously never could tell you why the person passed away how their client actually died. Like even in a case with Michael K. Williams, they're saying that it, it, it looks like an overdose. But of course, no autopsy results came back yet. And they're saying the same thing with A.J. Johnson. They don't know his rep doesn't even know how he died. Why is there always a mystery behind us dying in Hollywood? There's always a backstory behind this. And this is not me, you know, going, going into the conspiracy realm. It's just me thinking and saying, well, damn, What is going on with black men dying in Hollywood? Why is there always some tragedies connected to it? When Pimp C died, there was a tragedy connected to it. Prince, tragedy. Michael Jackson, tragedy. Sam Cooke, tragedy. You want me to keep going? Black male celebrities, man, we're dying out here. And they don't, they're not even, they're not even giving us an answer on why this brother died. What happened? We want to know. We, the people, want to know. But based on an article written by Deadline.com, which will be down in the description box, y'all can go and check the link. We'll read the article. It's a short article. But if you would like to go and read the article, you can. But they have no results for us. They're just saying that we lost another brother, another black male celebrity, and it is what it is. See, this is what happens, or this is how your life and your death is viewed, black man, when you practice the lost value system. Practicing the lost value system, your life is meaningless. Your life is meaningless. So I wouldn't be surprised 
if they were just to throw together something to say how this brother lost his life. Because I know, and I'm going to say I know, not factually, but I know, because I, I, I know there's something behind this. Because whenever they say, well, there's no, there's no determination on how this man died right now, there's foul play involved. Because the police could easily come in and be able to assess things to see what happened. But for his rep to say, well, we don't know what happened. We, it's just a mystery. There's foul play involved, man. There's foul play involved. And it's going to come out. It's going to come out, man. But brothers, we have to understand we are always dealing with a constant level of threat. A constant level of threat. So we have to understand, brothers, we can't just be running out here in the world, walking around, not paying attention not keeping our heads on a swivel, you know, just running around everywhere high and drunk to where you're not paying attention to what's going on. You, you slipping. You're going out being around anybody, partying with anybody. You don't know who's out to get us, brothers. Our lives are valuable whether they're valuable to us or not. Trust me, a black man's body and life is valuable. That's why they want us to treat ourselves like we're of no value so they can cost our value. Shout out to the pimp God. This is how they get what they want from black bodies, black minds. It is because they teach us to practice a lost value system where black men don't value themselves. So black men don't protect themselves correctly. Because as I said before, when you practice the lost value system, it corrupts your four P's. So a, a man, you got too much black men running around here, not protecting themselves thinking just because they got a weapon on them that they safe. You can get kidnapped with your weapon on you. But the lost value system tells black men, all you need to do is have a weapon and people will be afraid of you. And that's a lie. Having a weapon is protection. That's not the only form of protection. You see, brother, so we always have to remember this constant threat of extinction that we're faced with. So we got to be careful running around here, man, especially up in Hollywood. You in these higher social circles, man, you don't know what's going on. You don't you don't know who's out to get you. Now, am I telling brothers to be paranoid? Am I promoting fear to brothers? No. But brothers need to be aware because I notice nowadays a lot of us brothers are too relaxed around strangers. We allow strangers to do whatever they want in our presence. You know, we 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 we, we quick to drink and eat and smoke off a stranger just because you knew them for a day or two. You go out and hang out with people who bring people along that you don't know. See, these things are dangerous, brothers. Because you could be inviting someone who's inviting the ops, who's inviting the enemy in to hurt you. This is why they say my enemy's enemy is my friend. Because your friend who you invited to come out with y'all, who you invited to come through and do what y'all do together, they could be inviting in the killer. They could be inviting in, you know, whoever. 
just a bad spirit, a person that doesn't belong in your cipher. But when you're running around and you're practicing a lost value system, you don't have a cipher. Your energy is off. The vibe is off. You on demon time. And a lot of us black men, we get caught up in this shit. And then we wonder how we our lives get taken from us suddenly. We don't even know what happened. Next thing you know, we, we ended up in jail facing 25 years because we got caught up in some shit we had no control of or we knew nothing about. We wasn't aware of what was going on. So, brothers, we have to, we have to understand just how important the 10 life values are. Because it puts value back on our lives, brothers. It puts value back on our life. And when you put value back on your life and you begin to value yourself once again, you begin to do things different. You begin to operate different. So there is no, this black man just died, but there's no answers. This is weird to me, man. And this is happening to, it's been happening to us for far too long. And this happens because we treat ourselves of, we treat ourselves like we're of no value. So we'll go in any neighborhood, we'll walk around, we'll do anything. We'll smoke off anybody, we'll drink off anybody. Because we don't understand the constant threat of extinction. We don't understand that. And it's easier for them to pick us off when we practice the lost value system. And this is why black male celebrities are dying. And we're dying at an alarming rate. And nobody has no real answers. Because we're practicing a lost value system that puts us, that sets the stage. The lost value system sets the stage for black men's destruction and demise. And I need you brothers to understand this. So rest in peace to our brother, the late great A.J. Johnson. Rest in peace. Gone too early, man. My condolences to the brother's family. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified. Every time I drop some new content right here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Also, get down in the comment section and let me know what y'all think about this, man. Let me know what y'all think about it. DS1 Ross, Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Shout out to all of the visionaries. Much love to the A-Game family. Salute to the A-Game nation. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. Peace. This show is sponsored, and this channel is sponsored by A Game, a male herbal solution. A male herbal solution. Fellas, get down in the description box and join this A Game lifestyle. This is a lifestyle promoting optimal health for us men. It's a lifestyle that promotes optimal health for us men. It is for our energy, it is for our vitality. It is for our strength and it is for our libido. Fellas, join this A-game lifestyle simply by clicking the link in the description box and at your checkout, type in the promo code SHEEP and the number 10. That's SHEEP and the number 10. Get a discount off on your purchase.